Hi, everybody. I'm Big Al with Country Music News International. And today we got a very interesting visit with a young lady from Alabama. Her name is Wren, and she's got a brand new song that is out. It's called Hell of a Ride. But I think the hell of a ride is going to be in the information and the personal life that she's going to talk about. She's a country pop singer songwriter. I want to thank Brad and Big Machine Records for getting us together. I love these interesting people to talk to, see what's going on with their life. So, Ren, it is great to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited, and um, I think I have some really cool stuff about me that might reflect with other people and hopefully others can relate to um some of my struggles and i just love making music about it <laughs> well a hell of a ride certainly tells your story and i know that you're gonna tell everybody the story before they get an opportunity to hear the song let's talk about uh you as a person uh, i'm just going to mention scientists by day a power lifter by night and we're not talking a chemistry set scientist you are a real life scientist so what do you study so i'm on my way to become a scientist but that's kind of my goal right now i am um currently getting two more degrees so that i can actually reach that goal um i'm getting my doctorate and i'm associates so that I can get back in the lab. I've always loved medical research. Uh, my whole family is in the medical field, but I actually tried to stray away from it. So when I got my bachelor's degree, I went for criminal justice. And then when I got that degree, I was like, uh, it was kind of pulling me back. And so I started doing some, um, reflection and thinking back to my grandmother who um, passed from Alzheimer's when I was in high school. And I always told myself that I didn't want anyone else to experience something like that. So I was like, oh, maybe I can do something about that. And I decided medical research might be the route for me. Um, so Currently, there's a lot of stuff going on with Alzheimer's, and I hope to join some one of the trials or maybe even start my own. Uh, that's kind of like the long term goal is to start my own trials. And um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I got into that. <laughs> well, it's a very interesting field to be in. I've never really talked to a scientist before, so I certainly appreciate what you're wanting to do for people out there and and be able to mix music with uh, what yeah. you're doing. Uh, Hell of a Ride is on YouTube right now. I know there's an uh, upcoming video that's going to be with that. We'll get more into this song, but a power lifter at night. So uh, everybody's going to say power lifter. What, what, what is that? So go ahead and, and tell us. I'm interested too. I'm not technically a power lifter yet because I haven't competed, but I do power lift regularly. Um, that is something that I love to do. Uh, I like many other people, especially women, um, experience some weight, uh, and self-confidence issues growing up, dealt with some eating disorders. I, um, did all the yo-yo dieting and in and out of the gym because, you know, after three months I wasn't seeing the results. Um, I had always had that mindset of going to the gym and eating was uh, to get skinny. So I decided that this time around, I was going to try something different because clearly what I was doing wasn't working. So I went back to the gym. I started with a personal trainer and I told her, I was like, look, I came in here with a goal. I'm going to stick it out for six months instead of three and, um, and see what happens. And I told her, don't really have a good relationship with food yet. And so I kind of wanted some guidance on that. And I was under the impression, like most people, 1200 calories is enough to sustain an adult. That is so far from the truth. And, uh, it shocked me 
when she suggested that I eat 2,500. I was like, what? Like, that's not happening. And she was like, just, just try it for me. And I was like, all right, fine. So I decided to try it. I consistently went to the gym. I started noticing results probably around the four month mark, which makes sense. Cause after three, you know, you're not really seeing much. Um, takes a while to put on that weight and takes a while to come off. So I stayed with it and she was like, you know, you seem like you'd be a really good candidate for powerlifting. And I was like, why is that? I don't even know what powerlifting is. And, um, she said, you know, you've just got the build and it seems like you kind of have the drive and I want to see what you're capable of. So, um, she had me kind of watch a little bit of what power lifters do. And I was like, you sure about that? <laughs> like I'm a girl. <laughs> And she was like, oh, yeah, absolutely. So I tried it and I completely fell in love. Um, it was one of those just empowering feelings because it's a different type of lift. You can lift weights and yeah, it's it's fun and you gain muscle and it can be empowering. But this was these were like big movements and things that just really bring up that self-confidence when you can finally get it. So I started getting new goals of becoming stronger instead of skinnier. And that made all of the difference. And I have stuck with powerlifting since, and the entire community has been really encouraging and supportive. And uh, I have no fear <laughs> going up to the big weight section with all the, all the big guys and being like, all right, I'm here to lift. So it's been a really great transition. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, what we're talking about here with Ren is her life because her life is built into this song, Hell of a Ride. And she's had many other songs before Hell of a Ride came out. Uh, just to mention to everybody, you had you know, like 160 streams on Spotify, 160,000 streams on Spotify, 40K and other places. I mean, you're developing fans and you certainly have a an original voice. I, I really enjoy your voice. You're easy to listen to and you're a great songwriter as well. So what we're doing here is talking about her personal life because that's going to wrap around the song Hell of a Ride and everyone's going to be able to understand a little bit more about what that song is because actually uh, there's a lot of people's lives on a hell of a ride right now, including mine, you know, and I don't know when I'm going to get off of that ride. But <laughs> so another part of your life that I, I want to talk about before we go directly into the song is that uh, you're scared of change. And, and I find that very interesting because the music journey, I mean, it changes every day. So how do you cope with that? Uh, kind of Give us an idea of your thoughts on being scared of change. Yeah, no, um, I feel like a lot of people could probably relate. Change is scary. The unknown is scary. Um, I've spent a lot of time kind of just working on myself and learning how to reassure myself. I give myself pep talks sometimes. Um, and... I also surround myself with people that, you know, I can trust and that I know have my best interest in mind, but also know kind of what my limits are. So I have a fantastic manager um, who, I mean, she's one of those people I can, you know, be like, hey, I'm really just not comfortable with this. Can we find something else to do um, instead? And I mean, she's she's been great. But she also pushes me a little bit and she's like, look, I know you're uncomfortable with this, but at some point we're going to have to do something similar to this. Can we work towards that? So by surrounding yourself with people that are great support systems and just will listen to you, but also have your best interest in mind, I think that's really what makes the difference. Uh, yeah, I, I think you're right. You're not alone on being here to change. It's uh, everybody copes with it in, in different ways. And luckily, uh, you have music. You have seven cats, I believe, two horses, 
a bunch of farm animals. Now, look, I'm going to raise my hand right now because we've got three cats and they're just like our children to us, you know, and I used to train horses. So I understand exactly where you're coming from. But uh, this song, let's get into the music part, because I, I think that we've been able to establish, uh, you know, a person who you are. Uh, Hell of a Ride, you, you wrote this song. And it directly talks about what we've just talked mm -hmm. about in a whole lot. So kind of give us an idea with Hell of a Ride. Tell us what's up and coming with that. Plus, this is another question. Uh, let's make sure we get out all your information, website, downloads, where they can pick this song up at. But once again, Hell of a Ride. And we're talking country pop singer, songwriter, uh, men. So tell us about Hell of a Ride. Sure. So <clears throat> Hell of a Ride was actually pretty easy to write. Um... I was struggling with where I was living. I just, I was living on the East Coast at the time and it just wasn't, it wasn't for me. Um, I spent a good part of, I guess it was 20, 25, 26 years there and just hated it. Um, I knew when I was a kid, I wanted to move down South. And so, point I was dealing with some stuff that I wanted to get away from I needed a break from that part of my life and I had an amazing fiance who was incredibly supportive and he just was like you know what whatever we got to do we'll do um and I, so I wrote this song I was like well <clears throat> I really need to get out of what I'm, what I'm used to. I need to get out of this area. I need to move down South. I need to start over and you're coming with me because you're like the, the biggest support in my life right now. So we made the journey. And now that I look back at the song, I'm like, I pretty much nailed it because it's been about four years since we moved here almost exactly. And, um, the bridge, the bridge talks about being, um, being here for three years and working at a place I love. I absolutely love everything that I do. Um, it's just been an incredible journey and I have the best person that I could have ever done it with and everything's just going exactly how the song had predicted. So I, I just, I find it funny when I listen to it, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much why I wrote it. I just, I need to change, even though I'm scared to change, so. <laughs> well, as I said, we all are. One thing I will say, um, you are authentic. I can tell that just by talking with you on this video, people will be able to understand that. Um, honesty, authentic, you just tell it like it is. And I think that is the most important thing for people be able to hear a song that somebody like you wrote because it's true you live the life hell of a ride and a lot of people have their own hell of a ride so where can they pick this song up at and tell us your websites and all the other download platform stuff so my website is rins music r-y-n-s music.com and um i mean you can hear it on pretty much all of the platforms the most uh, commonly used are Spotify and Apple Music but I'm pretty much anywhere you listen to your music <laughs> um and then you can also hear and see my music videos um on my website so that's actually a very helpful link and it should link to my um socials as well if you wanted to follow me so to move a little bit further, hell of a ride, you're going to have an upcoming video. Plus, uh, this is kind of a, um, oh, it lets everybody bring out, uh, I'm trying to think here of the words to use. Everybody, you know, we're just having a conversation here. So you're going to have an upcoming album. And this is kind of a song for the breakout of that album. I knew I was going to get the words out there sooner or later. So kind of give us an idea about the video and the upcoming album, Ren. <laughs> so this video was a little bit different because um well first off I used one of my favorite videographers that I work with um 
his name is Josh Lockhart. He's out here in the Nashville area. And I absolutely love working with him. He's so easy to work with. He's incredibly talented and just really loves what he does and it reflects in his work. But the reason that this video was different is I decided to be a little bit more of my authentic self in it. So instead of dressing how others expect me to dress or wearing uh, heavier makeup, hiring a makeup artist, hiring wardrobe, um, I, I didn't have a team with me. It was just me and Josh. I brought my clothing that I'm comfortable in and I did my own makeup and hair and I did the thing. And I think it is probably one of my favorite videos because I was able to be myself in it. And I think that was super important for me to do for this song. Authentic with a capital A. <laughs> That's what you are. Yes. So, um... And then as far as coming next, um, we do have some exciting stuff in the works. A lot more of my stuff that I've written um, will be coming out in the upcoming album. I'm bringing back some of my older stuff um, under my new branding. And that's really special to me because it's kind of like bringing some of my old self into my new. And, uh, I'm really excited to share a lot more of the stuff that I wrote because I write pure honesty. I write about the struggles. I write about the, you know, mental illness and stuff that people don't normally want to talk about. It's, I, I have no reason to hide anything. It's all there. And I like to put it on paper and I like to provide it for people that can relate or maybe don't know that they relate and are like, oh my gosh, I'm not alone. So that's kind of the main reason that I do what I do with music. It's a great way to get the word out. We certainly appreciate you taking the time to be with us here on Country News, News International. Now, if you would, is there anything else that maybe we haven't covered that you'd like to tell the viewers, the listeners out there? Well, um, oh, I do hospice for animals, uh, which is something that I enjoy doing. We take in elderly and sick animals normally cats or dogs and um give them a comfy last hour day week um whatever they need uh we've taken random strays here and there and try to rehab them and find them homes and um that's something that i enjoy doing in my spare time as well not that i have spare time but <laughs> oh that's all right you're on a hell of a ride <laughs> so the new song hell of a ride video as well new upcoming album uh red if you would give us your website once again as uh, we finish it sure. um my website is rinsmusic.com r-y-n-s music.com and you can pick up hell of a ride on any download platform we're going to keep an eye on you and see what's going on in your life. And I hope you'll take the time once again to come back and visit with us when you get uh, more brand new music out. That album comes out. We'll certainly uh, get on here and, and talk about some of the music. I'll be interested to hear what you're going to write. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you having me. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.